could have a couple of showers to deal with. But check this out. Some sunshine right now in Marion County up in Hamilton. <clears throat> Excuse me, we're at 71 degrees. Winds out of the south right now at 10. Dew point up to 68. So we've got tropical air in place. You'll see numbers anywhere from 72 in Anniston to 72 for Birmingham. 76 degrees right now in Tuscaloosa. Winds out of the south at this hour. Here is a look at the numbers across the area. We've got 69 in Coleman, 72 for those of you in Alabaster, but 71 now down in not only Clanton, but also Alex City and in Gadsden at the top of the hour. A few light sprinkles is about all we can get out of this. We're not really dealing with a lot in the way of rain. Atmosphere across Alabama is just not really supporting much in the way of rain, although a couple of showers have been popping up especially just north of Columbus, and those continue to track towards the north and towards the east. So we'll see those moving into uh, basically uh, northern Lamar County if they can hold together, but that would be about the extent of it. Our storm track future cast shows the chance of showers and a few thunder showers moving through overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. This is a, a, a forecast that you really have to just try to time out these uh, thunder showers or even rain showers the best you can because timing a little ripple in the atmosphere can be very challenging. So our forecast models are trying to do that. 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, a little bit of rain throughout Blunt, St. Clair, as well as Etowah counties. That's tracking towards the east during the day tomorrow. Some sunshine breaking through, which is good news. We'll take that, but the rain is back on the board. This is Saturday morning at 2.30. Look at that. Rain starting to move into Marion, as well as Lamar and Fayette counties. That will actually be another wave or ripple in the atmosphere that swings through Saturday morning. But this is going to be the last of the rain. We'll finally start to see a couple of showers uh, wrapping up around 9, 10 o'clock. And then during the afternoon, a couple of isolated sprinkles. What we're showing here, mainly just a passing sprinkle or two. So I don't want to rule it out completely for the Alabama game in Tuscaloosa, but I want to emphasize it wouldn't be that heavy if the shower does pass over Tuscaloosa during the day. Friday at noon, this is where we're looking at rainfall totals, maybe a tenth of an inch around Alabaster. That's it. Otherwise, we will stay on track for quarter to a half an inch from I-65 eastward and maybe a bit more around Tuscaloosa, but that's going to be during the day Friday and actually late Thursday into Friday for overnight tonight into Friday morning. That's the best chance for rain, so we'll take what we can get. Mostly cloudy, scattered rain, 76 tomorrow. Here's your storm track seven day. We are setting the clocks back. Don't forget, that's a reminder there. But we are going to uh, actually be drying out a good bit. How about highs into the upper 70s, low 80s into the first of next week? Next chance of showers rolls in here with Wednesday and Thursday being a day of mix of sun and clouds and the chance of a few passing showers.